Hello everyone, Harvey from Elixnode here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can set up your Skywars Minecraft server using the Skywars Reloaded plugin. So in this video we're going to be using Skywars Reloaded, and if you want to download that, head into the description where you can download this plugin now. This video is going to be split up into two parts. Part 1 is going to be setting up Skywars Reloaded through using worlds and part 2 is going to be setting up the server using bungee cord. Use the YouTube chapter feature to figure out what you need. So in part 1 I'm going to be setting up the plugin using worlds and as you can see I am on my Minecraft server and instantly you can already see that I've been given a few items. Join Skywars menu, spectate menu and Skywars options menu. If you want a whole list of commands, do slash SW and you can see all of these commands that you can do. And if you do SW, you can also see other commands like SW kit and other things like that will also help you. Firstly, do slash SW set spawn, which is where you want to set your lobby spawn. This will be where people spawn after they die or go back to the hub. Now we're going to create our Skywars world and we're going to do that through slash SW map create and the name of the world of what you want to create. I'm going to call mine Skywars for convenience. And give it a second and you'll be loaded into your world. Here I am, I've been loaded into the world and as you can see it is literally just a void world with one block which is really useful if you want to implement a schematic or build your own world. I'm not very good at building so I'm going to put a schematic in. Here is my schematic. Now, now I'm going to be showing you how you can set up your world using bungee cord. If you want to skip that part because you want to use worlds, head to part 3 of general commands and setup. Hi, so this is how you're going to set up your plugin using bungee cord. So firstly, I'm going to presume that you've already set up your bungee cord server with a proxy and a minimum of two game servers. So let's head straight into it. So firstly, make sure that both of your sub servers have Skywars Reloaded installed on them, but you do not need to install it on the proxy server. And as you can already see, I'm on my Minecraft server in my own spawn that I built magnificently. And you can see that I've been given the three items, Skywars Join menu, Spectate menu, and Skywars Options menu. And if you need any help with any of the commands, do slash SW and there'll be a list of every single command, but I'm going to be going through every command in great detail later in the video. So firstly, we're going to set our lobby spawn, and this is the place that people are going to go to when they spawn into your world. So we're going to do the command slash SW set spawn where you want it to be. I want to be here on my spawn point. And now we're going to create the world and the map. So we're going to head over to our server, our sub server where we want our map to be, which will, mine is called Skywars. Yours could be called anything. And we're also going to set a set spawn here. This can be anywhere, but this is the only way a plugin will let us do it. So SW set spawn again. And now we're going to head over and create our world. And we're going to do this through slash SW map create and then the name of the world. I'm going to call mine Skywars for ease. Give it a second and your map will load. As you can see, mine has loaded now. So as you can see, the world is literally just the stone block. This is good because you don't have to have any other external plugins that will create a world for you. Now normally you can put in a schematic here, but so I'm just going to build a nice little platform and a base for us. And we're going to want to set our spawn points so we can actually save the world. So for each player that you want to spawn in a specific place, say I want a player to spawn up here in a cage, we're going to do the command slash SW map spawn and then player. This will put a diamond block on the ground, but in game it will spawn a, a cage around them. And we're going to do that for as many spawn points as we want the players to play on. For example, I'm going to make four on my map here. So now you're going to want to set up your chests, which I'm going to be going into more detail later. But for now, I'll just place down these chests without any configuration. So now we're going to go and configure this server to become our game server. So now head over to your Skywars folder and head to the config.yml file. And firstly, we're going to change this bungee mode to true. Where it says here, bungee lobby, change this name to the server of what you set in your bungee cord previously. Mine was set as lobby, so I'm just going to stay as this now. And make sure that below is lobby server is set to false. And remove this line under the game servers as this is not the lobby. And now we're going to head back to our Minecraft world. And while we're still on this map here, we're going to do the command slash SW map save and then the name of the world that you made previously. This will send you back here, and now you need to register the map, 
by doing such SW map register and the name that you just set. So I set minus Skywars. So now we're going to save the configuration that we just did and we're going to do the command slash SW reload. And now we're going to head over to our Skywars folder in our lobby server and go to the config. So this isn't the game server, this is your lobby server. And we're going to be linking the game servers in this config. So once again, set Bungie mode to true. But this time, change is lobby server to true too because it's your lobby server now. Now we're going to connect our game server and we're going to follow this format here with an additional one on the end. So firstly, put the server name which is dictated in your Bungie cord file. Mine was Skywars. Another port for your Minecraft server. Mine is 25579, but yours could be anything. Now set the display name for your server, which I want mine also to be Skywars. The max players, which I set minus four, as you remember. And the team size, which I'm going to make mine one. But then at the end, what you also need to add is your IP for your Minecraft server, because I found that it wasn't connecting if I didn't add that on the end. So I'd make sure to add that on the end. Now save that file and head to your console and restart your lobby server. So I've gone back to my Minecraft now, and I'm gonna head over to the Skywars join menu, which you can now see has a Skywars game in it, and this is linked through the proxy. So if I click on it, it sends me to this world for a second, which was my spawn point on that world, and I'm now on the Skywars game. So now if we start the game, you can see that, yeah, it works. It works as if it's a normal Skywars game. Now if I click spawn to go back to the spawn, It'll send me here for a second, and then there, and now we're back at my Skywars lobby through the proxy. And that is how you set up your world with the bungee cord. So now we're going to head on to the commands and useful commands for you to set up your Minecraft server with Skywars even better. So this is the Skywars map that I've chosen to put down and we're going to use for this video. So firstly we want to set up the spawning for the players in these glass cages for the spe and for the spectators after they die. So this map came with glass cages but you don't need them because it does it automatically for you. But I'm going to set each one of these spawn points in the cage using the command slash swmap spawn player. And that will place a diamond block beneath me which is where the players will spawn. And I'm going to do this in every single cage. And as you can see, every time I do it, it adds a number to that. And that will add another spawn for people to join in. So as I said, I don't actually need these glass cages at all. So let's get rid of them. By doing slash slash replace near 100 glass air. So now players are going to spawn on these diamond blocks. And they'll have a glass cage around them. So don't worry about that. So now we're going to set up the team size for this map. So this can be any number, but for my map it's going to be solos, so I'm going to do the command slash SW map, team size, the world of your name, and the amount of players that you want the team sizes to be, so mine is going to be one. Now you're going to want to edit your chests and make them customizable for your server. So there's two ways you can do this, either in-game through a GUI or through the config on your file manager. I'd recommend that you do this in the config however, as you can go into more detail when editing. So let's head over to the config now. So we're going to head over to our plugins folder and then our Skywars folder. And you can see these chess files that I'm going to be editing now. So we're going to start by going to the basic chess.yml, which will be the island chess on each of the islands. These won't be the best chess because they're not in the middle, but this is the chess that people will spawn with. So the plugin already has things added by default, as you can see. And you have these percentages like 50%, 40%, 35%, 30%, etc. And this is going to be the chances of them spawning into one of the chests. You can change or add any of these percentages to what you like. So, for example, I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to make it that there's a 1% chance that a diamond sword will spawn. This means that the plugin is fully customizable for every Minecraft style and every style of Skywars. Now we're going to move over to our middle chest, which is going to be the center chest.yml. And as you can see, it's the same setup with better items with better percentages like spawning diamond spades at 30 percent now once you've configured all that we can go back to our minecraft server and set up the chests so now we're back on our minecraft server do slash sw save and then the name of your world so mine is skywars so now we're back on the minecraft server do slash sw map save and then the world of the name of your world so that sent me back to the spawn and it says that my world has been saved a creeper has just blown up my spawn this is so sad so I want to go back to my uh, Skywars world. So if you want to edit your world, do such SW map edit and the name of the world that you want to go to. 
So before I place the chest on my islands, I need to select what type of chest I actually want to use. And this is where the name of the file you just edited becomes significant. Do the command slash swmap chest type skywars and toggle it to the normal chests. Then place chests around all the island, which will be all normal chests that you configured a minute ago. So once you've done all that, you've put all the normal chests on the islands, and now you want to head to the center and put the better chests on there. So now do swmap chest type skywars again, and it'll toggle back to the center chests, which now you can just place the normal chests down, and there'll be better chests than you, like you configured a minute ago. You've now set up your world, and you can do slash swmap register skywars. This has now registered your world onto the system, and players will now be able to join. Now, if we go to the Skywars join menu, we can now see the map that I just created. And this is how people are going to join by clicking on it. So I've joined the game now, and as you can see, I have three items in my inventory. The first one is where it lets me select kits. So when I right click it, nothing is happening. And that's because I don't have any kits set up yet, which I'm going to go show you how to do now. So if we do slash SW kit, you'll see every command that we need to do to set up our kits. So to create our first kit, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to clear my inventory and get the items that we want the player to spawn with with the kit in our inventory ourselves. So you can even use armor that will automatically spawn them with armor on, which is a good feature in this plugin as well. Then we're going to do slash SW kit create and then the name of the kit of which you want it to be. I have eggs in my inventory, so I'm just going to call mine eggs. So I've got eggs in my inventory, so I want to set the icon as that. So I'm going to do slash SW kit icon and then the name of the kit. And now the kit icon is now egg. So, and I want the kit display name to be orange because that's the color of eggs. Don't ask how. So I'm going to do slash SW kit name eggs. And then I'm going to do the name that I want it to be, which is orange and bold. And if you want to add a law to your kit, do slash SW kit law. And then you can put whatever law you want. Like I'm going to make the funniest pun ever crack a joke if you want to put another law like just put another number so if i want to put haha funny so you're going to want to put the position of the kit in the gui and i want mine in the first slot so i'm going to do slash sw kit position the name of your kit and then remember that gui start at zero it's quite an odd minecraft thing but it starts at zero so i want it in the first slot and now we're going to finally enable the kit by doing sw kit enable and then the name of the kit and that means your kit is now enabled. And if you think, oh no, I've forgotten something. I forgot to add the apples to my kit. Do not worry. You can do slash SW kit load and then the kit name. And you'll be given what you put in the kit before. And I wanted to add the apples. So we're going to add our apple and do slash SW kit update. And then the name of your kit. And your kit has been updated with the new items that are in your inventory. So now if we go into our game again you'll see that the kit menu now opens with our new eggs. And if we select that and force the game to start, you see that I've now got the items that I set up, even my leather chest plate that I put on beforehand. So if we leave that game and head back into our new game, you can see that we have a compass in the center called the voting menu. This is where your players can vote for the type of chest, the amount of health, the time, the weather, and many modifiers. So you can actually disable this under vote enabled in the config.yml, but if you want to keep it, it can be quite useful. It allows players to vote through the GUI before a game to make it generally more fun and interesting for the players. And of course, the final one on the hotbar is to be able to leave the game and back out if they need to. So if we go back there, you will see that on the side of my screen, you can see a scoreboard. So if you want to change this for whatever reason, like say you want to get rid of this link that's on the side, head back over to your Skywars folder and go to messages.yml. And then control F scoreboard and you can edit the scoreboards to your liking. So say for example, I want to get rid of the line of the, the link. We'll just get rid of all that. So once you've done that, you can head back to Minecraft and do the command slash SW reload to reload the plugin configuration. And if we head back to our world, you will see that the scoreboard has now changed and the link is now gone. So you can customize this with any colors you like or any words that you like using placeholders but make sure to use the placeholder API plugin when doing that. So let's go back to the lobby. And as you can see, finally in my hotbar, we have a Skywars options menu. So in this menu, players can customize things like cage colors, particle effects, and even the wind sound. And these are all completely level based. 
which you will be able to see when I deal myself. So as you can see, they're all completely level based, which players will get through winning games and stuff like that and killing people, which entices people to play more. And again, if you want to edit this, head over to the config.yml and control F XP, and you can change things such as XP for win and XP for kill. This is really good because it entices players to play and they can get better rewards, which will keep them going. So some players are going to want to play with their friends. So players can create party by doing the command slash SW party. And you can see there's loads of commands where you can create a party, invite people, leave, name your party. And if you don't want players to be able to create parties and join together to like prevent teaming or something, don't give them permission and they won't let them do it. Oh, and also, if you don't like the idea of people joining through a GUI, that's all right. You can use signs and what you got to do to set up the sign is put SWR in four capitals on the top line and on the second line put the name of the map that you want people to play on. So for example mine is Skywars. And as you can see it's been created with the emerald block behind it with a sign that people can click to join. If someone joins partially like say like five people join out of the 12 that block will change to show players if a map is nearly full and if you want to join just right click it or punch it and you're automatically in. So say you want a leaderboard hologram, which you probably will want. Uh, you need to make sure that you have the holographic displays plugin, which is also linked in the description. And you're gonna have to head back to your config.yml. Once in your config.yml, control F hologram and find the hologram line that says holograms enabled. This is defaulted to false, which you need to change to true. If you don't have holographic displays, this is gonna just keep resetting. So you need to make sure that you have that plugin as well. Then head to the leaderboard section in the config.yml. And as you can see, all of these are set to false. I like to enable all of them because that lets you create any hologram at any time. So now save the file and you can't actually reload the plugin for this feature because you're going to have to fully restart your server because it's going to create a hologram file that you can edit in a minute. So let's go and restart the server. So once you've restarted your server, go to the plugins in Skywars and then head over to the holograms.yml file that you can see here. And you'll see loads of things like this and you can edit this as much as you like. But there's two key points here that you need to make sure of. This bit here is the stats and this bit here is the format. Remember that? And that's the same for each of these. So kills is the stat and then leaders is the format. So now we're going to head back to Minecraft. And we're going to do the command slash SW hologram and then the stat type. So for example, I'm going to do kills. And then the format type, so I'm going to do leaders. This is the top kill leaders. And then click enter. So do you now have a fancy hologram? And as you can see here, I'm the best player of my zero kills. And you can do that for many, many holograms, just like the ones I showed you there. Which would be great if you're on a competitive basis. Anyways, that's everything you need to know on how to set up your Skywars plugin. And if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to comment them down below where we'll answer them. Or use the link on screen here and in the description to get some support from us on our Discord or Ticket system. Thank you for watching this video and goodbye.